Hello and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Now I realised recently that a lot of my videos have been uh, vintage Barbie doll reviews, so I thought I'd go back to Bratz Dolls reviews because I haven't done one in a really long time. But there is a reason for that, I actually haven't bought a Bratz doll in a while. And this is because, in general, I think the new line of Bratz has been slightly disappointing. It feels like more of a continuation of the line of Bratz from last year. Um, and some of the lines actually are continuations, like the Bratz Study Abroad dolls and the Bratz Selfie Snap dolls. And I just kind of wanted to see something a bit new, but they didn't really deliver anything new. But, um, I did really like the um, Bratz Remix um, dolls, so I bought two of them. I have Chloe here. And in the box I have um, Yasmin, so I'll show you Yasmin's box and then I'll unbox her because I really like Yasmin's outfit, so um, I had to buy that one. So here is Yasmin inside her box. The boxes are all very similar, really, really similar. Like, I mean, the art, the art in the corner is pretty much always the same. Um, I just wish they'd kind of shake it up a bit and kind of maybe change the shape of the box or change the artwork. Uh, they're still quite cool boxes though, even though I've seen them a lot. It says Jasmine da- uh, Jasmine? <laughs> what? It says Yasmin down the side with loads of little uh, icons which you would normally find on an iPod, like the shuffle and the repeat. Then on the back there's this really cool picture of her dancing, which I really like. And I love her hippie outfit. Here's a picture of the other brats you can get in this line. And then there's the pictures, really cute. And there she is nicely displayed in her box. Um, and now I will open her and give you a better look. So here is Yasmin out of the box. And I really like this doll. I, I, I had to get this one because I just think her outfit is so cool. And uh, I, I still think the Bratz are really nice quality dolls. Like they have really nice hair, really nice clothes. And there's been a lot of thought put into them. I, I think her, um, her headphones are the coolest of any of the Bratz. Um, with the butterflies. I just think that's so cute. It kind of reminds me of Mariah Carey. She's got lovely pink lips um, and a little beauty mark on the side of her face, which I think is so cute. Her hair isn't as long as the picture on the back of her box, which I think is a shame, but it's still nice hair and, it, and it's a reasonable length. She's got this cool um, long-sleeved crop top with, um, with a daisy on and then high-waisted daisy trousers which are really cool. And then these big boots, which I just think are absolutely awesome. She comes with the Bratz Lips hairbrush, as they quite often do. And she comes with this little iPhone, which I guess she's meant to be playing her music out of. Here is the Bratz Remix Chloe doll. I think she's really cool. I love her outfit. I love the tutu and the t-shirt with the lips on. I think it's awesome. The Bratz Remix dolls all come with big headphones, which are quite cool. Um, I don't really like the pig ears on Chloe's. I just think it's a bit weird to have the ears of a pig on your headphones, but she's got a really cute face. I love the freckles on the Chloe dolls. Cool t-shirt with um, stars and lips on. I just think that's so cool. And a big tutu. And she's got these big chunky boots, which are covered in studs. They're quite cool. So there they are, um, my two Bratz Remix dolls, Chloe and Yasmin. Um, let me know what you think of these dolls, let me know if you have any of them. Let me know if you agree with what I said about the new Bratz line being slightly repetitive. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe and share my video. Thank you, bye!